How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Delhi DL770D thermal label printer with a MacBook and a Windows computer. I, I did an unboxing of this printer earlier and if you haven't already checked that out and you want to see what all comes in the box and everything you can check out the video in the corner or in the description or if you want to skip to a certain part of the video like you just want to install on Chromebook or you just want to install on Windows, make sure to check out the link in the description to skip to that part after you watch the printer setup and calibration because you're going to want to know how to set up and calibrate your printer. With that all being said, if you haven't already given this video a thumbs up, please do. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into the tutorial and set this printer up. Grab your power cord and the Mickey Mouse adapter that it came with, put those two together. You're gonna plug this into the wall. You're gonna plug this into the back of the printer. Goes, the printer has an on off switch. The circle is in the off position. The line is in the on position. You're gonna wanna flick the printer on. It's gonna make some noises and some beeping, but that's okay. You're gonna take the USB cable that it came with and you're gonna take this end of it turn the printer over, plug it into there, and put this to the side. You may need one of these converters depending on your computer. Uh, if you have a USB-C port on a Mac, or if you have a regular USB port. So I will put a link to this dongle in the description. I use it for conversion for a Mac, but they do have some other devices such as a Chromebook that might need this converter. We're gonna take some labels right here and set them behind the printer. You're gonna wanna make sure the label side is facing up, sticky side is down because there is a right and wrong way to install these into the printer. We're gonna open the printer up, make sure our feed guides are open, slide our label in through there, and then you're gonna close it tight, but not too tight because you still want the paper to be able to freely flow. Pull the paper up to the platen roller, and then you're going to close the top. Before you do anything, you're gonna to wanna to hold this front feed button down until you hear two beeps. One, one, two. And then you're gonna let go and it's going to manually calibrate your printer. Right now, it's reading the distance between labels using the lasers and the sensors in there. It will spit two labels out. If you press it one more time, it'll feed exactly one label knowing that this printer is calibrated. If you were to change label sizes, such as small Amazon FN SKU labels or address labels, name tag labels, you will have to recalibrate your printer anytime you change label sizes. If at any time your printer is not feeding the correct distance between labels, it's a good idea to manually calibrate it. One of the settings might have gotten thrown off somewhere. It's not a big deal, just do a manual calibration. Now I'm going to open it back up pull these labels back through so they don't get wasted. Blue light means everything is ready to go. We already broke the rules on a Google Chromebook. Now we're gonna break the rules using a MacBook. The seller on Amazon of this printer says that it doesn't work with Chromebook and I just got it working with Chromebook. They also say it doesn't work with Mac and I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up with Mac. If your Mac has a USB port, you're gonna plug it right in but if you have a newer Mac that uses a USB-C port, you're going to need one of these little dongle converters to plug that in and then to plug that into the computer. I will include a link to this in the description so you can check that out as well as the driver that you're going to be downloading in this video. I'm gonna plug this into the computer, turn my computer on and I will see you guys in the computer. Here we are on our MacBook Air. This will work with MacBook Pros. As long as you're running operating system, at least Sierra, I believe, we're on Mojave 10.14.6, but I believe you have to be on at least Sierra. You're gonna go into the description of the video. We have a link to the Mac driver. You're going to click on that, and it's going to say can't preview file because it's so big, you're gonna have to hit download download anyways, and it's going to download this 330 megabyte file that you can delete after installing the printer. All right, once it's done downloading, you're gonna click on it. It's going to unzip it. It's going to open up this window. 
you're going to click on this IPP941 driver CD. Then you're going to double click on Mac. It says label printer driver version 1.1 DMG right here. You're gonna double click on that. It's going to verify all that good stuff. And then this is going to pop up. Label printer package, you're going to double click on that. It says it can't be open because it's from an unidentified developer. Mac only wants you to download stuff from the app store because they like to control things. So we're gonna go down here to system preferences. We're going to go to security and privacy. And right here it says label printer package was blocked because it's not, it's from an unidentified developer. We're going to hit open anyways, open, and then it's going to allow you to run the software. We're going to hit continue, install. You're gonna to have to type in your password or if you have to use your fingerprint, there it goes. The installation was successful. We can now hit close, move to trash. You can take that entire zip file and folder, move that to trash because that's over 300 megabytes that you really don't need to be hanging onto on your computer and get out of all of that. You can go up here to the finder and type in printer and we'll come up with printers and scanners, hit enter. And then this printers and scanners window will pop up. We don't have any installed right now. You might have some if you have some other printers installed on your computer, but we're gonna hit the plus sign and it should pop up with the Delhi DL770D. If it doesn't, turn your printer off, turn your printer on, and then it should pop up. We're gonna highlight that printer. We're gonna go to use a driver and sit, hit select software. Now I'm gonna type in label and label printer, label printer pops up. That's the driver we're going to use. The EPL2 driver also works, but the printing isn't super crisp. The label printer driver is better. And also if you have the Rolo driver or you went to the Rolo website and downloaded their driver, their driver will work with this printer just as well. So just FYI, you can hit okay. And then you're gonna hit add. Essentially has just installed the printer. Now you're going to need a sample label, which I do have a link to in the description and you're going to hit, we're in Google Chrome, so there's this little print icon, or you can go file print or command P, and it's going to come up with this print dialog. Yours probably isn't going to look like this. It's You're gonna wanna change the drop down to four by six, paper size format, four by six, scale, fit to printable area, kind of centers it, and then you're going to hit print. It sends a beautiful label to your printer. Although this is not compatible with Mac per the seller, we got it working perfectly fine with Mac. And if you hadn't already see up here, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell. That's how you get this printer working on Mac. And you wanna make sure you go into your platform settings and change them to four by six. I do have a video going over that. I will link to in the description. I highly encourage you go watch that because it shows you how to change your eBay or your Poshmark or your PayPal labels to four by six or wherever you're trying to print. You have to go into your platform and change it to four by six. That's how you print on Mac. Now we're gonna go into Windows and we're gonna install it on a Windows computer. Now we're gonna install this printer on Windows, which is what it's intended to be printed on. According to the seller, it works only with Windows, but as you can see, we got it working on Google Chromebook and we got it working as Mac as well. For Windows, it's pretty easy. I will have the links to the driver and to the sample label in the description so you can follow by step by step, but we're gonna need to get into the computer. So I'll see you guys in the computer. The first thing we're gonna need to do is download the driver. I have a link in the description to this website, Bartender DL770D. You're gonna hit download for this driver and it's going to either download or say that it can't be downloaded securely. I'm not sure why mine's saying that right now. I'm just gonna hit keep. Yours probably will just download automatically. It's gonna take 30 seconds to a minute. And once it's done downloading, you're going to click on the .exe. Gonna pop up with this. You're gonna accept, hit next, next finish. It's going to run this stuff. You can hit X out of that. And then I have a shield blinking in the bottom here. I'm going to click on that. And it's saying that it wants me to allow this app to ch make changes to my device. I'm going to hit yes. It's going to come up with this driver wizard. I'm going to hit next. 
I'm going to plug the printer in via USB right now. And it popped up with installed driver for this printer, DL770 on USB port 005. Your port could be different. Your printer model should be the same. If this doesn't pop up, try turning your printer on and off and seeing if it pops up then. If it still isn't popping up, I would reach out to Delhi. They should have some pretty decent customer support and be able to take care of you there. I'm gonna hit next. I'm going to hit next one more time. Finish. It's gonna finish installing the printer and I'm going to hit close. Now, if you go down here into the search bar and type in printers and scanners, go to those system settings, you should have the Delhi DL770 right here. Before we do anything, I'm gonna go into manage. We're gonna go into printing preferences page setup, make sure you change this to four by six and then hit apply. And then I'm also gonna go over to graphics, turn it to dithering none and then hit apply. If you wanted to change the darkness, it would be over here in options. You'd have to uncheck that, change your darkness and your print speed. Turning it up will make it darker, turning it down will make it lower. But I'm just gonna leave that as is and then hit okay. You can throw a test page to the printer just to see if you have communications and it will print you out this Windows test page. But I'm gonna print a sample label to really see how this thing prints. I do have a link to the sample label in the description if you don't have one handy. I'm going to hit Control P. You could also go to this little printer icon here. I'm on Chrome, so it may vary depending on your browser. But I'm gonna hit Control P and everything looks good. You want it to be four by six, make sure the deli printer is picked. I like to print, fit to printable area, it kind of centers it, and then I'm going to hit print. Sends our signal to the printer, and we have a beautiful label printed. And as this label says, if you haven't already liked the video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell, you can do so now. And before we get out of here, I do encourage you to watch a video I have in the description showing you how to set up 4x6 settings on eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, the links in the description. Save you some frustration because a lot of people don't know that they have to change those settings after printer setup. They just want everything to work magically. That was the step-by-step -step tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already given the video a thumbs up, please do so. If you have any questions about the printer, put them in the comments section. I am pretty happy with this printer with the price point. And I really like the design. All white looks very, very clean on a desk. It's a solid printer, especially for the price being cheaper than the Rolo, but just as functional as the Rolo. Thank you guys again for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.